Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode I built the far left cell block and awarded myself plus 100 generic confusion points because I couldn't figure out why this wouldn't set itself to a low risk designation and that's because well although everything was built the cells were actually set to padded so that's now all sorted and as you can see we're now receiving all of our inmates here so they're going to come in they're going to go through the standard procedure so they'll get scanned they'll get searched and then they'll be escorted to their cells now what I want to do before really anything else is go over and hire one, two, three, four more cooks. I don't need them in here, but rather the distance they have to travel will mean that they can't go inside here and, and cook. So it is a bit of a problem there. Either way, I think we are doing quite well. We need to finish off the cell block on the left hand side and that is getting sorted now. And we need to add in some extra things. So let's go over and go to our utilities and then to the phone tap. We'll place a phone tap on that corner there, obviously connected up with an electric electrical cable. We'll also need to look at our staffing and we can see we've got 16 guards which is pretty much fine. I do need a couple more dog handlers like so. In fact I'm going to hire up to 10 of them because we'll have a total of 5 and it seems to me that we need almost double in, in some cases there. So we'll assign a dog hand handler to there and to there. We'll have a magenta patrol in the centre here. Now in the previous in the previous cell box, it's an orderly that's been patrolling there, but we're not going to do that. We're going to have a standard guard. It's going to just patrol up and down. Remember, this is a standard risk cell. Let's just double check on our logistics and temperature. Yes, that is nice and warm, which is fine. I mean, it's currently summer, overcast, so 10 degrees C, no problem whatsoever there. In terms of cell status, you can see what's been assigned and what's, what's occupied and not, what's not. These will start to go to red to say occupied as they get searched. They'll be assigned to it and then they'll be escorted to that. Obviously, in the previous intakes, we've had them being brought in, searched, and then the orderlies take them there. But now we're actually going to utilise a lot of the... Uh, staffing that we have so we've had a lot of guards that have really got not much of a purpose apart from they, they do the shakedown so you need them there really i think in terms of being efficient and sort of money wise it is better to have a mix of criminal insane and non-criminal insane prisoners to be as efficient as possible because as we've seen you can get a lot of criminal insane prisoners and you have orderlies and you're looking after that but you still need the staffing of guards you still need that sort of thing so a lot of the times they're just sitting around doing nothing apart from when you have an intake or do shakedown whereas if you have a decent mix of criminal insane and non-criminal insane prisoners it, well it seems to work out quite well anyway let's go over to our flooring here and put a bit of concrete tiles in there because it's been bugging me ever since uh <laughs> <laughs> we did do the expansion there. You can see they are being escorted to the left hand side. I'm going to actually place some flooring right across there. You can see the slowing down as they walk across and even though this is going to be a cell at some point, I think the time, just spend a little bit of money there, it should be all fine. Obviously this is not yet done. It is warm. We still have the radiators all put in and the water boilers there and that sort of thing, but it's not... 100% complete but we'll get there eventually so if we go over to the library here and the other rooms let's go over and I think move that radiator down move that radiator down and move that radiator actually no we don't need to move that but we need to move that radiator so we'll double click and move it to there double click and move that to there no let, let, let's 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 do it sensible let's not actually place it in a different room because that's just stupid. In terms of utilities, it is running ooh, right along there. Is there something else we can do actually then? Cancel that. We could probably just get rid of that library shelf and uh, we're going to have to do the same here. No, we are going to have to move the radiators down. I don't think that is a massive problem though, but we'll put that in there. These paroles, I will double check in the deployment to make sure that they are set to standard. Yeah, that's all shared, so that's fine. We're going to do the same thing for there, there, and then there. So we can have the prisoners come here and work if they do so desire. Our phone tap is still not in, but to be fair, they've got a lot of stuff working on the left-hand side. Speaking of working, if we check our regime, we can see that now we have a mixed regime. So I'm going to put work slash free time in for the minimum and medium. I don't know why medium set there. Well, actually, I do know because medium is the standard one that seems to be always in the regime here. You would think it would just put in what we have, but it's probably just a legacy from when the game only had one type of prisoner designation. 
because basically we need a prison architect 3.0 where they just go through and just overhaul so many things because it's been layer upon layer upon layer upon layer and you can just tell that uh, there's those issues there at times not nothing game breaking path when it is game breaking like well like so many things in the previous series notably bridges but anyway yeah the uh would benefit from that i think so that's now been put in and i've just realized that light is also in the way so i'm going to rotate that to be put there i will also remove that and put it there and no actually no you can actually place it i just realized yeah you can of course place the lights behind like radiators and stuff so that can go there over to our objects no sorry walls and doors still keep forgetting that one place a door in there there and then in there so they now have access to all of these we still have this as staff only we still have that as staff only these are all set but now we can go over to logistics and we can assign some jobs. There we go. So that means now people will work in the library and hopefully start to send some of this stuff out. If this works, what I plan on doing is extending along here and have this as a... I'm going to have this like a big library. We'll have a big assorting room and a and a bigger classroom and we'll expand on this left hand side probably not this episode but we'll see how we get on so that's now all set up obviously we have the patrols we have people eating there luckily uh, looks to be everybody is content they've got comfort needs freedom all that sort of stuff yeah that's fine okay so the phone tap is now in so we need to connect that up there will actually be a fairly big connection thing here Yeah, there's 10. Is that 10? So that's 20. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is what I would class as reasonable. So you want to listen in on these booths. You want to listen in on these phones here. The problem, it, there's, there's nothing stopping the normal risk prisoners using these phones that are in the criminally insane wing. Or is there? No. No, they can't. No. Okay. There's no point in listening in on those because the deployment is such that you cannot, well, under normal conditions, these prisoners, the low-risk prisoners, cannot enter the criminally insane wing. If they do, they'll get basically told to leave. And they're not going to break in, essentially, to then use these phones. So, connections then. Right click to cancel it all, and we'll redo it. So it's going to be all of this again. That's set up. That's set up. And that's set up. And we don't have any other phone booths elsewhere. Okay, that is reasonable. Shakedown time. We'll do that. Two criminal insane will arrive in five hours. Could double check prisoner grading. Reoffending rate has gone down. Punishment is fine. Reform has gone up by one point. Health has stayed the same. And that's about as positive as I can make all of that. So we still don't have anyone working in the kitchen we still don't have anyone working in the laundry and we still don't have a cleaning cupboard i think at this stage we're not going to have anyone working in either the kitchen or the laundry for that escape problem that we've mentioned before they can steal what's going on in here <laughs> are they playing tag I thought that person was called Leroy for a second there, but it's Lacey. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stop this shakedown shower time. It's just unreasonable. Let me double check that, actually. Do I really need a shower time? I don't think so. No, we don't. We just don't. It's just, it's just simply not needed. Hmm. Guess we could move it all down. I'll just put it as free time. You can do what they want. 
Because this thing's still shower. And we don't have any showers specifically elsewhere. Like, it's, it's all in their cells, so... Yeah, that's fine. Right, so... We have got the phone tap put in. You can see that is in use as well. So let's double check to see where they are listening in. Intelligence and... No. Utilities. So they're listening. Oh, nothing now. You can see it's cycling away there. It's cycling. That's the red line. And eventually it'll stop. But they can only listen in on one at any one time. Okay, that's fine, that's in. Let's go over to Intelligence and Informants, and we can see that we do have some unknown traits. Now, it is possible that some of these inmates that we are getting will have traits that could be problematic. They could be ex-law enforcement. We can now get, and we have seen in the past, where we have inmates come in that were secondary legendary prisoner. We've had two of those in the previous series. It's unlikely to be an is a big issue, but when it happens, I don't know what we can do about it. We'll have to keep an eye on those. In terms of our policy, we don't need to alter that, I don't think. And straight away, we have some problems. <laughs> Unknown reputation... Sven Bischoff with unknown reputations has just been attacked. They have attacked prisoner recent misconduct. I'm going to guesstimate that those are either ex-law enforcement or snitch or violent or something. It's un unlikely to be violent because I think he was the one getting attacked. There was like, several, like, three of these inmates attacking him. So already we've seen a disruption in the dynamic. As soon as we get some non criminally seen inmates. Everyone was on the same page until Glee's turned up. And solitary 60 minutes. So why are they taking him to here? I have no idea. Anyway, that's not getting sorted. I will need to check our programs. Pharmacologic treatment is on the go. Alcoholic, same thing. Spiritual guidance, good. Don't need to set another one, that's fine. Psychiatric consultation, there's several in the queue. I will put in one, two, three, four, five. This is eight in the queue. We'll run that. Actually, it looks like we do need to run some more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It says eight in the queue, we should be fine. Even though if we had, if we had more, though, does it re reduce it? It does not. So I'll just reduce it down to that. Five. Workshop safety induction. There's six interested. We're not going to run it. Same uh, because we don't have a workshop and we're not going to have one. Same thing for the kitchen safety and hygiene. Okay. Um. Not going to run that. Foundation education program though. There is a demand for that. And behavioral therapy has gone up too. So. What I'm going to do is start expanding these rooms. So the classroom, I'm going to shift to the left hand side. Let's go to planning and work this out. So I want a room for, oh by the way I also need to put in the leather things which I know I forgot. I will sort that out this episode. Um, so we want a room specifically for the Psychologist. Psychiatrist. Psychologist. That was right the first time. So that's what that'll be. And then we'll have another room. Which will probably be classroom. That'll be a classroom there. I don't think we need much more than th this ro size room here. For the psychologist. Now, I don't think we need more than one psychologist. Because, well... Let's have a quick check. Behavioral therapy, four in the queue. I mean, we could go for another one. It's not unreasonable to put another one in. Just in case. Like that. 
and then the classroom size 12 that's fine it's not a massive problem there same thing down the bottom where we're gonna have oh there you go people are now working in the rooms this is what we want so we currently have two parole we're going to change this up so we will have this as a library that's a library this will be a sorting office we'll then have a classroom however large and then two parole this by the way will also become a common room I think on either side don't think that's unreasonable so parole internal of five another internal of five so it's gonna be a very fairly big classroom and you notice I'm putting it on the left hand side because that's that's the only people really that can use it the criminal cinemas do not use that I don't even think we need two parole, quite frankly. We could probably get away with the one. But we'll place two in just to sort of copy on that. I don't think that's unreasonable. So, library. The reason I'm centralising the library, even though that these prisoners can't work it, is because they still can use the books that are sorted. So, library. Sorting. Of all things, that there is going to be a huge classroom. Two parole, common room. Over here, let's... Get rid of that sofa. Um, dump it. Move the daughter there. Do that. And that should be it. Each of these sofa wides. Uh, just dump them. I'm just gonna, actually, do you want to dump them? I'll dismantle them. No point in dumping them. I can probably use them in the in the new common room that we're going to place. Dismantle on that one, and dismantle on that one. Okay, that's now in. Objects. We now have oh, leather sofa and a medicine cabinet. So let's place it. Hang on, I'm just realising. Did I not, did I flip that right? That's fine. That's fine. And there's the back of the medicine cabinet. We'll go in. Leather sofa. I'm going to place it in... There's some more violence. I'm going to place it in there. I'm actually going to move it down a bit. There we go. There's the leather sofa. Where's that fighting? Fighting underway. There it is. I can hear it, but I can't see it. See, nobody wants to go there. To is that repaired? No damage? No. I don't know why that is. Yeah, that's placed there. That's placed there. So there is all of those officers done. I will prioritise the building of that. That's fine. So I did notice that, obviously, danger level has not gone up. But certainly, if we had an agitation level, like an average aver uh, agitation level, which I thought would have been a standard affair, but obviously not, that has gone up. Which we can see in the psychiatric consultation anyway. No equipment here. Yeah, as soon as I place that in there, I knew it would do that. Let's speed up to max speed. I'm going to have to reschedule all programs once this is in. Actually, no, I don't. I just need to add another one and then it works. <laughs> yeah, let's get rid of a couple of those. That should be fine. So there has been some treatment there. Obviously, we have got the medicine cabinet in there. We have got the nice leather sofa in there. So that is pretty much sorted. I will put in that door, uh, sorry, that wall, and let's go ahead and build these. Oh, actually, no, pointless. Needs to be foundation first, doesn't it? More foundation, wall Utani, and would I get away with that? I think I would. I think I will. But let's see. Because there is an entrance there. It should automatically detect that and crack on. So. 
two criminally insane prisoners arriving shortly. Reoffending rate has not gone down. 15 prisoners released. Punishment 5. Reform's gone back down to 2. Security 2. Health minus 2. Gonna do a full shakedown. Checking now on the last 24 hours. Scissors being nicked. Scissors have been nicked again. Both detected. So stealing it from there, you're running past there. Doesn't matter. You know, it's going to be detected. Syringe was smuggled in and strangely not detected. Look at that. Went straight through. Sigs have been stolen from that office. And then we've got a power drill, a fork. Oh, yeah. Fork and a spoon. That's something you're never going to find in any kitchen environment. Drugs, cigs, needles, medicines. All found here. In the kitchen. So it's been brought in. So we knew... We knew that opening this up for prisoners to work in the library would open up also some potential contraband, which we can see there, the scissors. Yeah, so we knew that that was going to be the case. But at least we are detecting it, and that seems to be working out quite well. Going over to deployment here, that does say no access, and that is that is 100% correct. Let's go over to walls and doors, staff door. Visitors will not need any further access back there we'll have ah do you want to do that yes i think we do want to do that and that should be it yes because the planning is not that it is actually that the planning so we'll have a door in there doors in here yeah that's fine okay Let's go ahead and put in the walls. A lot of these walls will be deleted, you understand, so we'll be changing those up. This is going to be our... Actually, what was that one going to be? That's classroom. Not too sure what we're going to change, have that room as. We'll just go straight across for now and just brick this up. We don't need to do anything else. So these are going to be our new paroles. This is going to be a classroom. So there's a classroom. There's your paroles. This will be standard doors followed by a staff door. And we're going to have to double check the deployment on this one. Set all out of staff only. That's correct. That is now fine. And 15 degrees raining. Autumn. Nice, lovely shower there. Okay, so we have got all the foundations placed, got our inmates, got all that sorted, upgraded the. Upgraded the psychiatrist's rooms. And we've also got parole hearing. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to set any of these programs running because quite frankly, next episode we're going to rip out pretty much everything from this side right along. Completely rip it out and redo it. We'll be demolishing walls, we'll be moving, uh, bricking up the doorways, we'll be just changing all of this side and to some extent this side here. And we'll have more treatment, bigger classroom, bigger things for like sorting mail and all that sort of stuff. So overall, hopefully an improvement. We may even put a shop on in here. But we'll see how we get on. Happy with the progress. The dynamic, now that we have these other prisoners, is interesting. That's an unknown trait and I'm not seeing where the other one is. They're probably just around in a common room or something. Or they could have left. But, we've seen now that we have these low-risk inmates. They're now starting to work. The stuff that the criminal inmates can't do, they're now fulfilling that and cracking on with it. So hopefully, we should see some improvement overall in our ratings. <laughs> Whether or not that is reflected, well, we'll just have to see. Next episode, we'll do all of the previously mentioned jobs around the top and bottom on the left-hand side. This area is still probably just going to be set to what it is now, which is just 
you know, straight row. We can expand it to the left-hand side. I don't think we will. I think, realistically, building these two bits here, getting the other cell block in, finishing off the yard, that, that's that's a nice that's a nice run of the series. But we'll see how we get on next episode. As always, if you haven't enjoyed the video on the series thus far, comment in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.